Before we get started, um, first over on the right hand side is the GoTo webinar control panel. Um, there is a questions tab and if you click on that arrow, it'll expand. And if you can um, ask any questions there, uh, we will get to all of the questions either during the webinar or, or after by email or by phone, depending on you know, how you would like it answered um, or kind of the appropriateness of it. Um, sometimes it's a, it's a long answer. Um, second, there's gonna be a follow-up email. Uh, this afternoon, I will send a follow-up email to all the registrants and we'll include some of the things that we're talking about today, a link to the recording of the webinar, a PowerPoint presentation as a PDF. Uh, we have a brochure uh, that explains the uh, class eligibility and the territories and uh, gives you a contact uh, list of people to talk to um, on the surplus line side and things like that. Um, and um, we also have a couple things with the Hartford to share with you also. So we'll also attach uh, some of those things. So um, in 2017, Stuckey and Company, Stuckey and Company is uh, celebrating 26 years as an MGA, um, offering our agents access to solid A-rated carriers uh, like the Hartford, Safeco, Travelers, and Chubb, uh, just to name a few. Um, we have nine specialty insurance programs. Um, looks like I did not uh, increase the 25 to 26 on this slide, but we've been in business 26 years in uh, July here. And uh, we basically provide independent insurance agents and brokers with the innovative insurance programs and responsive service that uh, you need to ensure your long-term growth and success. So we're you know, totally focused 100% on, uh, on our insurance agents. Basically, um, so can you, can everybody hear me before we go any further? Maybe I'll, I'll uh, offer that up in a chat. Okay, it sounds like we have a lot of yeses coming in. If your sound is not working, um, you can either use your computer speaker or you can dial in. There's under the uh, audio portion of the GoToWebinar control panel, um, they'll give you a dial-in number and an access code. So uh, if you can, uh, go ahead and uh, maybe uh, hang up and redial in. So um, at Stuckey & Company, we basically do everything you would imagine an MGA uh, uh, to do. We create the program if there is no pr program in place. Uh, we create the underwriting guidelines. Uh, we underwrite to those guidelines, and then we rate, quote, bind, issue, endorse, and renew. We do the invoicing. Uh, we have a really cool um, subsidized 0% financing program that makes it look like a direct bill, even if it's not a direct bill. Um, and then we report. Uh, so we can report to you, the agent, if you have a program with us or we can report to the carrier. We integrate the systems, both with the agency and the carrier. And then sometimes we do the claims. Uh, all the times we do the marketing and we offer the uh, training and support uh, for the programs that we offer. Um, these are the programs that we have today. Uh, Safety Tech is one of our main programs. It's an insurance program for the technology industry. Aspire for architects and engineers, Harbor Guard for marinas and boat dealers, MPL, which is just miscellaneous professional liability, uh, Element for the green energy industry. We do a personal lines program, home, auto, boat, and high value home. 
We do have commercial lines, which is Bob Comp, Auto, Bonds, you know, DNO, ENO, all the commercial lines. And then the surplus lines program. Um, and we, we integrate that both, or I guess, uh, kind of three ways. Um, internally, so if you submit a piece of business that we think is uh, admitted, but it might have some claims or some issues, we route that internally to the surplus lines side of things. Um, and then we integrate with the Hartford and our agents. And we also have an API that you can use uh, to send business in electronically. So let's get with uh, the uh, integrated surplus line solution. I, I'd also like to let, let everybody know and introduce uh, Jerry Lovin, our lead surplus lines underwriter at Stucky and Company. Hello, everyone. Um, thank you for uh, being here and making yourself available, you know, for the for questions during and after the webinar and, and whatnot. I'm sure, we'll get some good questions. Um, so, at the end of the session, um, I want to make sure everybody knows, uh, you know, and can articulate what small commercial means at Maxim. Um, as you, everyone might know, Maxim. Um, is now owned by the Hartford. Uh, the Hartford purchased them um, probably eight months ago or so. And um, it's a surplus lines a division of the Hartford. Um, I'd like you to know and understand um, the maxim small commercial account threshold by industry and then recognize uh, key targeted industries that Maxim uh, likes to write. Um, so small commercial uh, really means a, any surplus lines account with approximately $25,000 in premium or less. Um, generally speaking, we, these are some of our core coverages that we use. So general liability, property, liquor, inland marine, employment practices, and professional liability. Um, unfortunately, on the binding side of things, there's no monoline professional, but we have quite a few markets for that um, anyway. So um, these are, are basically the, uh, you know, the coverages. Um, just a few things, I guess, here. We... The standard limit is a million, two million. Um, and with a, a million personal injury and advertising injury and 300,000 uh, for, you know, the premises rented to you. Um, and I believe we can go uh, below that as well. And we have underwriting or uh, umbrella markets above that too. Um, the property says two million max here. I will go over by industry. Um, liquor liability, um, we'll go over some of those uh, intricacies too, and, and, and whatnot. So, um, Maxim, as part of their um, policy, can also include additional coverages, uh, assault and battery, physical and sexual abuse, cyber liability, identity theft or gender recovery, and special events. And um, these are the small commercial thresholds. So this is kind of the meat and potatoes of, of the, the webinar. And I'm going to go one slide further real quick, real, real quick and then come back. Um, these are the maxim thresholds. And these are the Hartford small commercial thresholds. So as I, I mentioned, you know, Hartford purchased um, Maxim and their underwriting eligibility and their industry classes align really well. Um, so these are the industry classes and the uh, thresholds for the Hartford, um, which are, have been expanded. So, you know, Hartford's really big with uh, making it big in the small commercial space. So, you know, 20 million per location and 40, 40 million property values 
per location, I'm sorry, uh, per policy in business services, professional services, and personal services, um, you know, $40 million for the property values is, is, is a large account. Here are the maximum thresholds. So, and I, I put them in the same order as the, 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 as the Hartford thresholds. So, um, some differences, property values don't necessarily line up um, the same, but they are in, you know, some different um, eligibility guidelines also. So, uh, um, you know, so 40 million in sales is an approximate number for the business services. Retail, uh, we can go up to $25 million per sale uh, per policy, $15 million per policy in the wholesale. That's kind of, those are approximate. Um, financial services are rated per square foot. So it's about 125,000 uh, square feet. Uh, contractors, about $3 million worth of payroll, but it can, you know, depends on the contractor, uh, contracting type. Manufacturers, about 10 million. Technology services, about 20. Laboratories, 8 million. Associations, 15. And restaurants, about 1.5 million. Um, all of them, as you can kind of tell on the right hand side on the property values, we can go up to 3.5 million per location and five million per policy on in every industry except restaurants, which is two million per location and five million per policy. And you know, it can go up or down, but depending on what underwriters. Uh, yeah, if we're in the ballpark and we can get exceptions made on that two million. So um, that's some of the meat, meat and potatoes. Here's the Hartford again. Um, again, you know, surplus lines, is just that, right? You actually have to get declined by an admitted carrier um, in order to go surplus lines. Um, we make some of those uh, those filings easier uh, because you know we're automated here, but um, we want to place it with the best market. And if it's a if it's an admitted um, account, and if it can stand on its you know on, on two feet. Um, we want to place it with an admitted carrier, and Hartford is a great uh, carrier for that. And these are the thresholds for uh, the property and general liability and the workers' comp here. Another thing, I guess, uh, on this slide also, um, we can do up to 25 power units on the auto. And most of the time, we cannot do it on a monoline basis, but we can add auto uh, to um, any of those classes as well. Um, this is, connects to that last slide. So, and this is, uh, these are given, um, the target industries are, are kind of given, the expanded industries, again, are, are listed on the, that slide. Um, but these expanded guidelines are some of the things I think, you know, that are, interesting when we talk about surplus lines. So um, new in business, many times on an admitted um, piece of business, if it's a, uh, if it's an off office class or uh, a professional service or uh, maybe even a retailer, that new in business is not going to be an issue. Um, but for a contractor, um, or whatever class when it is a issue, uh, you know, a surplus science facility like Maxim can step in. Contractors and restaurants tend to be where you find a lot of opportunity on those accounts where there's less than three years of experience or less than two, three years in business. And as long as they have three years uh, in, in the related field of experience, we, we can quote that with Maxim. Um, and business operation, and we'll get to some of these things um, on in the next slide, but uh, business operations and industry served. Um, you know, many times on a, an admitted policy or you know admitted guidelines, um, you know it has to have a pretty uh, thin 
scope of work. And the industry has to be, you know, kind of an approved industry that we've talked about here. Um, but on a surface lines policy, we can we can expand that a little bit. Uh, habitational, um, we cannot do any motel or hotel, but um, sometimes when a a uh, habitational exposure might have a restaurant down below or something like that, um, we can we can offer coverage here. Um, so these are accounts with a little a little bit of hair on them. Um, have, uh, um, sometimes a manufacturing risk when there's installation involved, um, it will be declined by a admitted carrier. Uh, we can look at those. Some locations where we're offering the Maxim product in 24 states. Um, and I'll send out the brochure, which, which has a listing of those states. Um, but we can look at it if it's declined because of the location, we can look at that. Insurance score, if buildings uh, maybe have not been updated um, or maybe a construction issue, uh, fire or burglar alarms, if the work is subcontracted, Sometimes the lack of controls, um, you know, we're still going to do an inspection and they have to have, you know, some controls, but um, maybe not to the level of a, an admitted carrier. Um, liquor sales, Hartford, for example, and some other carriers have expanded their guidelines and they've taken investment um, in, in the restaurant class and um, they can increase the, the percentage of liquor sales. But if it's beyond those percentages, this would be an excellent place to, you know, to purchase liquor liability. Um, sometimes general contractors or remodelers uh, might not be acceptable uh, in uh, an admitted uh, uh, program. We will look at those. Uh, sometimes when there's rentals or used inventory uh, being sold, uh, we can look at those child and daycare alarm contractors, special events and auto dismantlers or, or scrap dealers. So I, I kind of took it slow through those. Um, if you have any questions or if you have a, a risk in your desk and you know, you, you have any questions about uh, whether it would be eligible or not, you know, sure. Let us know on this. We'll try to get to any questions. And if we can't get to it, you know, through the webinar, we'll certainly, you know, uh, contact you. Um, or you can submit it uh, through the, you know, the, the uh, you know, appropriate underwriting channel. So uh, this is the broad class eligibility, and um, did this in, uh, for a couple reasons. Firstly, these are basically all of the two-digit SIC codes that are are listed um, from airports to wholesale. I will tell you, we do not write airports. However, we will write some ancillary exposures. So if, if there's an HVAC guy coming on property or if there is a computer software guy um, working on a, you know, a, an element of the, of the uh, airport, maybe an HR or whatever it is, um, we'll look at that. Um, whereas a, an admitted carrier will probably not look at that. Um, allied health, you know, for, for um, health care facilities, um, associations, civic um, service or social, again, auto dismantling, um, contractors, you, you name it, these are all the classes and, and there's a fit for a lot of them, although some of them might be a little bit limited or ancillary only. Um, so this, I, I wanted to make sure everybody knew that uh, our the, uh, Maxim is a A plus 15 rated um, insurance carrier. It holds the same rating as its parent or Hartford, um, which is a, a big deal. In fact, um, one of the nice things about it when we generate a quote proposal, the last two pages um, are a very detailed. Uh, description of who owns them, their service, their claims paying, paying ability, and it really uh, does a, 
a nice job um, increasing the close rate um, for some of these circle signs um, quotes. Uh, really, our intent with the ISL program or the Integrated Surplus Line Solution is to increase the eligibility. So, you know, we were, we're quoting a lot of admitted business, but we're declining a lot too. So this has opened up about 20% more eligibility for these small commercial accounts that we would otherwise um, decline. And we hope to pass that on to you also. Um, we wanted a, a, a low minimum premium. A lot of the surplus lines carriers, um, they have a $2,500 minimum premium. And, you know, we wanted to trend towards an admitted carrier. We wanted that same feel, an admitted-like process. Um, the carrier, A plus 15, and we wanted that minimum premium um, to, to go way down. So um, it's a $500 minimum premium. And as far as regulatory compliance, we have a great, uh, Susan in our office does all of our surplus lines filings, and she just does a really great job with the due diligence and the sur surplus lines tax filings and making them easy for you. Um, so I think we really have done a good job with uh, creating an admitted like uh, program uh, and there'll be no no surprises on those surplus lines quotes either. They'll all reflect the, any fees and taxes that are applicable, so that you'll know the bottom line cost going in. Um, so it's extremely easy to set up. Um, well, firstly, there's no setup if you uh, just want to submit a piece of business to us. Um, work very similar uh, to the way that um, most wholesalers work. Uh, just submit an application. I'll put up the uh, um, uh, the contact information and just submit it to quotes at stuckey.com. Uh, we'll get the account in. We have what's called a 151 promise. So if it's in by one, we get it out by five, in by five, out by one. Um, if it's if it's not um, on Accord apps and you want to bring it to an electronic submission, we can share our uh, APIs or, and you can submit it electronically through your agency management system or your website if you, uh, you want real-time quotes. Um, on the admitted like uh, side of things, we want to make sure that we are transparent with you. So we will always um, let you know exactly what our concerns are, what any questions that we might have, answer any questions that you have. Um, if there's any limitations or declinations, we will back them up by real reasons. You know, we're not one of those, hey, we're just declining it. You know what I mean? We're going to tell you why we're declining it or if we can write it, which you know, we will make every effort to write it. Um, we want to make sure that, you know, you know of any limitations in coverage or anything. And it'll be clearly stated on the quote proposal. So um, that's really it. I, um, um, I, I want to urge you to take action. Um, so we um, in 2016, about a year ago, we implemented what we called our 151 promise we just went over. Um, so we're going to give you incentive to submit a piece of business to us. Um, and we will send you a $25 gift card for submissions on qualifying accounts, um, up to $25,000 in premium. If it's a, an account that generates more than $25,000, we'll send a $50 gift card. And we just, we want to kind of pay you to, and, or incent you to uh, submit business to us and uh, show us how we can um, stand by our, our 151 promise. Uh, commit to quoting those next five uh, commercial accounts with us. Um, if they're an account that falls within the admitted guidelines, we'll certainly quote it on the admitted side of things, but we want to 
uh, show you how we do with the uh, Maxim. They have been great to us, and uh, we're really excited to have them on as a partner. We'll also include a, a full sample policy with our quotes so that you'll be able to refer uh, to the actual forms that will be on the policy when issued. So there's no, no guessing. That's a good point. So um, let's get to a few questions. Um, here's one, uh, let's see, about auto. When you said auto, you did mean commercial auto to any policy. Um, so I don't know if it, a lot of you will probably know about commercial auto these days. A lot of carriers are having a bunch of issues with uh, their, their uh, you know, ultimate loss ratio on the commercial auto side. Um, and Hartford is, is one of those. Um, they have implemented some um, guidelines where they will not write monoline commercial auto. Um, and that has to be supported with at least one admitted line. So we can write commercial auto for an account if we write a property or GL policy or if we write a, a, a workers' comp policy. Uh, there, but there may be some classes where they'll still do the model line as long as it's an eligible uh, GL class form. Um, and just to be clear, now the, the the auto is strictly for the Hartford. Maxim Maxim does not offer auto policies. Right, right. There are surplus lines and right. yep. Um, do you have a policy for telecommunications companies? Um, sometimes we can write it on an admitted basis, and if not, on the surplus lines, for sure. Um, where's my cursor? Uh, will they write condo associations? We can write condo associations. Um, so here's a, um, a, what's the commission structure for a surplus lines agency? So that's a couple different questions, I think. Um, firstly, um, we're gonna pay 15% um, commission on surplus lines um, with zero uh, premium commitment. As you go up in, in production, we will increase that. Um, the second part of the question is for surplus lines agencies. If you are a uh, surplus lines agent, um, we will, you can file the taxes if you choose to file it, and any fee, uh, filing fee or policy fee, will be passed on to you. So uh, there, you know, we are not uh, looking to, you know, uh, get any kind of a fee for anything that we do not do, any service that we don't perform. Um, and our, our fees are not the standard uh, surplus lines fees. We, we, we want to trend towards a, an admitted policy. So we're trying to get the fees down to $75 or maybe even lower as we go through. Uh, depending on this, uh, maybe even the, you know, the uh, level of integration that we have with you. Um, is it direct bill or agency bill? They're, their agency bill. Um, I mentioned that we do have a, um, a subsidized um, finance program that we put together that makes it look like a 0% direct bill um, finance agreement. And if you'd like to hear about that, you know, we can tell you a little bit more about that too. And just a couple more questions. Um, what are the coastal guidelines? Well, let me, I'll, I'll send out, um, which kind of uh, uh, goes to the next question also, what's gonna be, or, and will you share uh, the materials for this presentation? Um, I'm gonna send out a link to the recording of the webinar, a PowerPoint presentation and the brochure, and it'll also have some uh, coastal um, and protection class nine and 10 type guidelines for you. And if, if there's any question at all, um, let's get to the contact. Oop. 
contact us page. Jerry Lovin is the lead you know, underwriter and he can answer any questions. If, if he can't answer it, um, you know, we can sure get it answered by you know, the carrier underwriters. But um, we have in-house uh, binding authority for the program and um, their systems are great. Um, and I, we can turn you know, quotes around super fast. I think you'll really like our, our service. Quotes, and we can also issue policies same day. We issue those in-house here. So uh, you get the bind order, uh, you send it to us, we send you a, a policy and an invoice. And just kind of a, a summary on the, the coastal guidelines, just the typical rule of thumb is we, we're gonna exclude wind in Florida and usually any other uh, first tier county uh, when will be excluded. Right on. Okay, so and another, um, how do I get an appointment? You can go to uh, Stucky.com and there's a uh, uh, get appointed. Um, here, I can even go there real quick. Here is the register as an agent button and just click on that at Stucky.com and you can get registered as an agent. Um, one additional thing, uh, there's a, there are some marketing opportunities. If you have a industry that you really like, uh, you, know, you have a niche in that industry, you have a bunch of people insured there, not only can we cross sell your book, but um, we can look at marketing opportunities. We have um, uh, a number of different partnerships and we can do it by state, location, class, uh, SIC, you know, you name it. So um, I want to thank everybody for attending. Uh, the, the uh, you know, the uh, ISL Maxim Circle Science Expanded Appetite Webinar hosted by Stucky and Company and, and look forward to talking to you. Thank you, Jerry. Thank uh, you. For, for being here today. Thanks, guys. Send us those apps. Thank you.